wheelchair or a stroller, your best viewing area is in the right-hand lane here. And uh, you can start coming in now. Show the kid it. You need a good girl. You won't run away. You stay there. You stay there. Okay? When they do, Bruce, this is your cue to push this lever all the way over and hold it in place, okay? All right. Is everyone ready? All right. On the count of three. One, two, three. And cut. That was great. Now let's take that scene we just shot and edit together with footage taken of our miniature shot Mais non, c'est Yves qui va griller. Lee can get us permission to go on the set. Now, as you look to your right, you'll see this circle. This for the back of the circle or the outer left. Those green characters there are green with envy because they cannot park in our prime parking area. Today's building outside the circle are bungalows, headquarters for visiting production teams, World Championship Wrestling, Wheel of Fortune, Family Matters, and the CBC among those spending time here. Atlanta-based WCW spent most of their summer with us because they were crowded out of town by the Olympics. And with this 25th anniversary stuff, it has been a really Disney release 100 on Dalmatians. Our wardrobe staff will use nearly 175,000 yards of fabric this year. That makes us home to the world's largest working wardrobe. But nothing looks good without this area in the dark. This is our technical department. Well, we have everything we need so we may film in our own stage. On our back lot, in our parking lot, as we did for the four episodes of WC. The scenic shop is where a number of sets and props have been built. In the film Honey, I Blew Up the Kids, starring another Canadian, Rick Moranis, the outside of the scenic shop played the part of Sterling Laboratories. The scene the shop was in took four days to film, but the next time you watch, you will see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seconds. If you have been to one water tank, you're not alone in, in the green or false front. One, two, four, two of the second host on the right is Burns from Ernest Saves Christmas, the first feature filmed at the Disney MGM Studios. Different scripts call for different neighborhoods. Each of these houses has been used in some sort of production. That includes the Hawaiian-style beige house coming up on your left. For seven seasons, this was home to the Emmy Award-winning series with Soundstage. And our techs represent such fine institutions as Michigan Tech, Texas Tech, and Georgia Tech. They graduated and became technicians. Right, Greg? Greg used to be one of us. Now he's putting up Christmas lights. Well, anyway, the residents here aren't really here, and among those who aren't here with them, this is Alice's host from Adventures in Wonderland. Thank <laughs> you. 
Again, anything that I didn't mention, I will mention when we return. So let's pick it up here right now with these blue plymouths. Three of seven used in New Frame Roger Rabbit. The crash scenes were filmed out of order, so we needed seven cars showing different stages of destruction. The orange trolley from the same movie as a bus and the steel tires, fiberglass covers, hiding wheels up the bus. This last car was crushed in James and the Giant Peach, and these pipes were from a documentary about the Alaskan Pipeline. These airplanes starred in the Rocketeer movie. If you watched the film and thought the planes were flying, they weren't. The pushcart and bobsled are from the Jamaican Olympic bobsled team-inspired film Cool Runnings, starring one of my fellow countrymen, John Candy. The Red Coyote is from the TV series Hard Castle and McCormick, and the Gray Boxes are from the USS Alabama movie Crimson Tide. Kimberly, how does it look ahead? Three beeps. That means we are going on our special effects testing set. Oh, no. We will be traveling on a bumpy bridge when we get there, so as a reminder, hold on to anything you do not wish to lose. We cannot stop to retrieve it. Or them. This set was modeled after an actual canyon in Southern California. It took me...